Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Sequoia Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its power moonroof. You have your heated front seats as well as your power tailgate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Sequoia Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look on the front bumper you have your parking sensors. Over on the side you have the 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels along with your running boards. Up top you have your chrome accents as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors and then on the inside of the mirror you're going to see your integrated signal lamp as well as your blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just looking if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once it will lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle it will unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Now taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats, as you can see you have your grey leather interior with your power driver seat with lumbar support, power tilt telescopic steering wheel, mirror controls, power folding mirror button, automatic high beams as well as your power lift gate release, seat memory controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seek function volume control, voice recognition mode select, your Bluetooth scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now it does offer you the push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here which include your digital speedometer. And then you'll also be able to go through and see your distance to empty as well as your fuel economy on here. Then you can also go through your audio, lane departure alert, tire pressure monitoring, messages, your settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. Now just down below on the right hand side you're going to see your parking sensors on and off, track control on and off, and your open and close for your power rear window. Hazard lights, taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So inside your menu screen you have your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Inside the apps menu it's part of the Antune app suite so as long as you have it on your phone you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores just depending on what your preferences are. Now as you can see you do have the Sirius XM satellite radio on here, temperature control settings located down below, 4x4 select, your tow haul, closing in underneath the temperature controls you'll find the heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with your rear temperature controls, USB and power outlets located down below, matted to an automatic transmission. And if you take a look at the very top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you'll also find the open and close and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof, SOS safety connect, and then you have the sunglass case holder as well. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate you have the back of camera just located in the center here and down below you're going to find your rear hatch release. Now closing in on the rear cargo space as you can see you do have the cargo cover in the back which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while you're from place to place. You have a 60-40 split for your third row so if you want to actually have them folded up just use the controls that are located on the right hand side here. And if you need more additional space, you can actually fold down the second row for yourself, which is a 40-20-40 split. So depending on what your needs are for, you can have one of the seats up or all of them down. Now, if you take a look underneath the floor here, you're going to find some under the floor storage space. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Then when you're all finished up, all you have to do is just hold down the button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep and then it will close the tailgate automatically for you making things a lot easier for you especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids sports bags. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.